Let's convert the number 3.75 to a fraction. Here's how we'll do it. Let's call it 3.75 over 1. We're just dividing by 1, so it's still 3.75, but now we have the start of a fraction. What we need to do is get this number 3.75 to a whole number, and we have one, two decimal places. So with two decimal places, we're going to multiply that by 100. So 100 times 3.75 that equals 375. So now we have a whole number, but we can't just multiply the numerator by 100. We also need to multiply the denominator here by 100. Think of it this way, 100 divided by 100, that's just one. So we're multiplying by one and we're not changing the value, just the way it's written. 100 times one, that equals 100. And now we have our fraction, 375 over 100. Let's simplify this down and then convert it to a mixed fraction. So I think that 25 will go evenly into 375 and 100. So I divide 375 by 25 and I get 15. If I divide 100 by 25, I end up with four. So I've got a fraction here now that's been simplified from 375 over 100 down to 15 fourths. I can't reduce this any further here. This is an improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. So we could convert it to a mixed fraction. Four goes into 15, four times three is 12. So four goes into 15 three times with three left over. So we'll call that three fourths. And now we have a mixed fraction. You can check that. Three times four is 12, 12 plus three is 15. So 15 fourths, just like we had here. And these are all equal. 3.75 is equal to 375 over 100 and 15 over four and three and three fourths. This is Dr. B converting 3.75 to a fraction. Thanks for watching.